Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. Give him honor, give him glory. It has been a minute. I have not been on here. Um, basically just, um, ooh, have a lot going on. However, I do get on as far as the audio. I wanted to talk about this subject tonight, okay? Here's the deal. <laughs> praise God, praise God. We have a church that's scared of demons. I'm just going to get straight to the point. I don't know how you scared of demons when most of the New Testament, that's all they talked about was demons. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So I'm going to be sh short and to the point. If you are truly anointed, then demons are supposed to manifest right in front of you. Y'all wonder why stuff happened to me? Y'all wonder why I'm always talking about this, this, because the anointing I have, it, it, they, they have to manifest. Oh, come on, somebody. I am reminded every time Jesus was in the midst of demons, he, he said, who are you? We are legion. We are many. Every, so, so, so when you're in the atmosphere, it's supposed to change. Your anointing is supposed to change. Point blank. If they're not manifesting in front of you, that means that you are not heavily anointed. Church, we got to go back to the oracles of God. I'm just going to I'm just going to cut through everything. Too many compromising. Too many running after a bag. Too many running after popularity. Too many running after a man. Too many running after a woman. Too many have conformed to the world. And I'm not trying to bash nobody because we all got issues. We all fall short of the glory of God. But there are some of us that say, I won't compromise. There are some of us that say, God, I love you. Uh, yes, it's hard being a, a true Christian. I say a true Christian. It's hard. I'm going to tell you right now, it's hard being a true Christian. Hallelujah. But this stuff is real. And I just pray in the name of Jesus that you understand how real it is. You have to be so full of the Holy Ghost. Jesus went, he went up to the mountain and prayed. You can't be on social media 24-7. You can't be out here trying to work and get a bag 24-7. You got to get with God. God keep me. God rebuild me. God, God revive me. God let me thrive. God give me ideas. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Most of you are under the Pharaoh system, the beast system. What is the beast system? God never gave you a job. God gave you a work. I'll show you in that Bible. God never gave you a job. A job is something you get paid for. A work is something that you already are. That's gifts. That's your calling. And one day, your calling going to come and right face in front of your career. And God going to have to, and God going to ask you to choose. And most of you, honestly, God's been calling you now. But you don't know how the bills going to get paid. So you want to stick with that job. But you feel the tug. You feel the pull. And I, I went through it too. In 2015 was when I went through it. I was working at Comcast. And um, whew, God said, let go. And I remember I had the cancer then. And I was like, God. What was that 2012? That was 2012. I'm sorry, y'all. And I remember I said, God, I'm going to lose everything. He said, yes, you will. And I did. Lost the house, the car, the marriage, like everything, okay? Y'all know how it is. But I could honestly tell you, I got a better relationship with God. I started learning who God truly was, not just what people say. Hallelujah. We're living in the times where the church is falling away. When I put that video this morning up about that young man talking about homosexuality, that's sad that the secular have to speak on it when y'all preachers don't want to talk about it. And you know why y'all don't want to talk about it? I'm going here tonight. I'm going here. Y'all going to get upset with me. How long have I been telling y'all these things and now they're all starting to come to pass? Y'all remember how long I've been telling y'all that they've been pedophiles? That how would they do in Hollywood? What they do in the... Uh, and I hope y'all can get this. You cannot make six figures in this world without them people co-signing. This is their world. Y'all don't want that to touch you. Because the first thing y'all going to lie and say, well, that was God that blessed me. God did not bless you. God is not going to tell you to sin to win. God is not going to tell you to go and get with the world to lose your anointing. God is not going to do that. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Somebody lying. Somebody lying. Somebody lying. Please count the cost because it's really not worth it. For a little pleasure, a little money, a little honey, a little funny. God is calling you. Come, come closer. Come closer. No, you ain't got to go through no apostle, no prophet. I'm trying to talk to you. That's what I hear God telling every last one of you. I want you to get to know me for real. Get in my word. Learn of me. Learn my ways. People talking about they know God. You don't know God. 
God ain't going to tell you to cuss nobody out. God ain't going to tell you to, to steal on your taxes. God ain't going to tell you to have fornicate. God ain't going to tell you to do all that stuff that we as a people are doing. God is not going to tell you to do that. God is a holy God. And he's telling people, come on. It's time for you to change. It's getting high time. Come on. Hallelujah. This stuff real. Just count the calls. And, and I got a question for every leader. Y'all not going to like the question. How much they paying you to conform? We already know they're paying all, all, all the black men in Hollywood, all right, and to conform to, you know, homosexuality. How much they paying y'all to keep quiet? How much they paying y'all? Is it worth it? Is it worth the people's soul when you're supposed to be working for God? All you leaders, y'all ain't saying nothing about homosexuality. Y'all not saying nothing about the sex trafficking. Y'all just keep talking about prosperity and people dying out here. People dying by the droves without God. God said, the blood is on your hand, thus said the Lord. You better open your mouth. We're going to all have to sit in front of God on judgment. They are staying, whichever. And you're going to have to give account to everything that you do or don't do. What you say or don't say, said the Lord. I'm telling you right now, praise God, hallelujah. This stuff real. This stuff is real. It's time for us to get with God for real. Quit playing. Stop playing, said the Lord. Y'all don't see what's happening? You see, we are all spirits. You're never going to die. Your flesh die. But the answer and the question I want to leave with you is this. Where will you spend eternity? Hmm? What angels will you be with? Will you be with the angelic host or demons forever and ever, ever? I bet you never thought of it that way. After the second death, that's when we be condemned or go, you go to heaven or you go to hell. See, right now, most people, they're having that fun. They're getting that money. They, they doing what they want to do for now. Count the cost, said the Lord. Count the cost. Many people dying. Ooh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. All right, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God keep y'all. All right, God. That's all I hear God say. Um, just got to go back to the oracles of God. I love your brother and sister. Quit talking crazy about people. Quit. You're supposed to love each other back to life. It's not all about money and all this stuff. Because I, I promise you, it's coming a time where they're going to be throwing money in the street. Then they're going to save you. The spirit of God, people are hurting right there in the church. They don't have the authentic healing of God, the deliverance of God, the presence of God. You can't do that without God. You can't buy no, you can't buy the anointing. Y'all can buy everything but the anointing, honey. Sorry. You can't buy that. You can't, and you can't perpetrate it either. Because people know when you're lying. Come on now. Got to get it together. All right, you guys, God bless you. God keep you. I pray that you understand. Every time I do a video, it's, it's real. I'm coming with that real stuff. I don't have time to try to impress y'all or do all that. It's high time. God says that the harvest is ripe, but the laborers are few. The laborers are few. Most people are just, they don't have time to teach. They don't have time to preach. They're too busy trying to be a star. There's only one who paid the price, and that's Jesus the Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. We're all our soldiers for that. That is who you are. God bless.